Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another Harry Potter review, and today it is on the Hungarian Hortail Dry Wizard Challenge. So on the front of the box here, you see that newer border witch, which in picture of the whole set in action, and a Wizarding World logo, all the mini things included, and recommended ages is eight num set number 75946, has 265 pieces. Then click to the back to see the Harry flying away from it and the features and yeah. Now to the instruction manual, which same picture. Oh, whoops. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And then how to win on the online survey and all the pieces that come with the set and uh, for some of the other sets. Then add for Lego Life and the last steps. And now on to the main things included with this. Uh, hang on. First of which is Harry Potter himself. Let's see. The hair piece about the same as from in the graveyard. Exact and, and of course, torso print done quite goodly and face print of which also kind of common. Let's see, because the dark wand and also using the mid legs, of course, and back horse print saying Potter as soon to the scene. And also does have a double side face also like in one of the other sets. Also included is the broom with the foot blasts, uh, as suiting to this sequence in the movies. And next to which is Victor Crump, which is a little different than in the CMF series. But torso print done nicely, and hair piece of which same as from Finn from the Force Awakens line, and he's a nice back torso print with the hood, and also an R double sided face of course. The next of which is Cedric Diggory, with also different prints than in the CMF series. And And also, yeah, her piece, which isn't kind of com much common, but nice to get here. And like print, which done good. And from the back, saying diggery, of course. And, and also has double side face, of course. And last but not least, is Lure Delacour, which much different prints than the one in the uh, uh, Delacour carriage set. But, and of course, doesn't have the hair hat combo piece, of course. And face print, which is the same as Ellie Sattler in the Jurassic World line, and does have the tannish wand, of course. And from the back is the like the symbol for her school, of course. And then has double side face, of course. First of which, for the builds, is this little house for it. I see, has a lot of tan pieces with those large panel pieces, but there is a reason for that. It's, it does have one of the newer leaf pieces for foliage, and same with this, but a couple slopes. So, of course, and in the back, nothing so much. A lot of it kind of basic, but plenty of the like. Uh, tan slopes for roofing, but you can like open it up and there's plenty of space for it. So you have a like little dresser with a little potion above and a table with a couple of gauntlets and also a nicely designed bed. And of course symbols for each of the other wizarding schools. That's very cool for that. And also of Hogwarts with all the houses. And uh, zip 
that. And all that you get is just a few slope pieces and, and a couple of flames attached to it and has a golden egg of course always fitting to the scene and just a corner piece for that. Kind of basic but well nice. And lastly is the Hungarian Horntail itself of which a kind of cool bill although a little bit downgraded than the 2005 version but at least but to start off with is the head pieces. Same as from the Fantastic Beast set, but in dark brown and the exclusive print to it. But and also I do think this was kind of a good choice for it, since it does have the beak and all, which it kinda of does have in the movie. Of course, but, but as the wings of which, which kind of common from some other castle sets and, and other sets, of course, but in dark brown and clearish brown, and as the back top part, which has some cheese slopes acting as more little spikes on it, and, and also a rounded slope, also. With, but with a sticker representing that as well. Oops. Also, you get quite a lot of the, like, toothish pieces. This but in this darkish tan color, oh, which is good for mocks. Or mock making, I should say. And as for the legs, of which kind of thick and chunky. But a lot of some gray. Just exposed and should have been dark brown, fit, which would have been with the color scheme more. But besides that, can pivot in and out and up and down, get plenty of movement, and toes of which also have good movement to them. And that's the tail, of which quite basic with a, with a few mixel joints, then, as well as some more of the spiky pieces and the extra long one. To, to top it off, of course. And uh, he does have this chain to it, which you can attach to this little bill here. And this is but also a little option is where you can pull the, these pieces out of the knot if you want to show it by itself, of course. Although I think the flame could have been a little larger as suiting to some of the scenes. But also what I think is I hope I hope they do one of the dragon in Deathly Hollows part one or two. Well, either one. And I would hope the headpiece would be in white. Because that which would work good for it. Or even for a Small scale of Norbert. Just I would get thoughts for it. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, this I think a pretty Cool, kind of cool set. Even though the Hungarian Horntail may not be as great as the original 2005 version, but do get plenty of exclusive prints of figures, of like Lure and Cedric Diggory and all. But also, at least another uh, Goblet Fire ones, which since one they barely make any sets of, of course. Well, if you're a fan of Goblet Fire, and definitely go ahead and pick this up. And if you are wanting to get this for your collection, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about that about it 
that is about it with this video and thanks for watching